In this video, we're going to be discussing why you are bad at Black Ops 4. Now, you could be bad at every Call of Duty game for all I know, but with Black Ops 4, there are a few new specific reasons why your KD is lower than the Marianas Trench, why you can't get a score streak for the life of yourself, so get your pens and paper out, face the front, and get ready to start your journey to Optic Scump levels of play. Warning, this video may not teach you to play like Optic Scump. The biggest reason for players struggling in Black Ops for in my opinion is the healing system. Remember the days when we'd just sit behind cover and we'd just heal ourselves automatically? Such simpler times, nah. Now we are injecting ourselves, son. We are proactively healing, or we should be. If you're picking the wrong time to heal, like when an enemy is staring down their barrel at you, I don't care what you're injecting yourself with, you're going down. Seriously, think about when you're popping that heal because it isn't instant, and if you're not using stim shot, you won't even be able to fire shots yourself while going through the healing motion. Furthermore, I know some of you watching this just straight up forget to heal. What kind of psycho are you? If you had multiple bullet holes in you in real life, do you think you'd forget to phone an ambulance? Nah. So don't forget to heal in COD. We take this serious here forgetting to heal. Sort yourselves out. Speaking of health, I think a lot of you think the enemy is still on the old COD health system of 100 points of health. We're on 150 now folks. We might be playing on some old COD maps, but that doesn't mean we act like everything else is old too. So see when you're shooting the enemy, get used to leaving a couple more rounds in them instead of taking your finger off the trigger because you think they should be dead. It's a tough habit to break, I understand, but I wonder how many of you actually act know you're doing this. He should have died! Favourite catchphrase of these players. Yeah, maybe a couple years ago but not in Black Ops 4 so get with the times. I'll tell you another reason why you're bad at the game. You're using armour. You're the type of player who'd run Juggernaut years ago, a scumbag in the community, but I'm not here to banish you, I'm here to help. Help change your armour using ways and show you the light. Listen, I know it's tempting being able to sponge an extra couple bullets and win a gunfight you most certainly shouldn't have. It sounds great, except it's just worth one gunfight. After your armour breaks, and it's not as sturdy as you think it is, then it's gone and you're exposed for the weak player you are, so get rid of it and get stronger with every other piece of gear you can you can use multiple times or it's always active except for your precious armour. I'd guarantee you'd do better in the long run using stim shot or even the acoustic sensor. Obviously the specialists need to be discussed because from what I can see in the warzone some of you are having problems getting the most out of your specialist and that's going to keep you slap bang at the bottom of the lobby leaderboard and on this channel our place is at the top so do me a favour and stop firing your sensor dart outside the map. Take your time with it. When you finally get the chance to use your specialist ability don't get ahead of yourself and activate it in the immediate presence of of the enemy, it's gone before you even properly got it started, or don't go wasting precious noob tubes blasting them in whatever direction you're facing. I've got a whole tutorial looking at how not to play every specialist which you can find at the top right of the video once you're done learning from this one. On the other hand, I can tell you're bad because you're not paying attention to the enemy specialist equipment and abilities. Start learning that if you hear a humming noise there's probably some mesh mines planted nearby, or furthermore just look for them, they're not even hidden that well. Don't go challenging an Ajax head on, that's not going to end well, and even if you are aware of things like Crash's assault pack, think about checking if there's enemies nearby before putting a full magazine of bullets into it to destroy it, letting every nearby enemy know what you're up to. We're not done yet, but I just want to recruit some new subscribers at this point in the video, so if you're new around here, let's hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell to join the notification squad like the two legends on your screen have done. Let's continue. You're gonna be playing bad if you're not running dead silence in this game. I appreciate that in previous COD games, footsteps are on the quieter side, so so dead silence has not been a priority, but just listen to that. Sounds like the fucking big show is running about carrying a kitchen's worth of pots and pans. Might as well just put a red dot in the map for you at that point with all the noise you're making. So yeah, equip dead silence and start making some amazing flank plays. I know it's in you. Why do you constantly pick the wrong gunfights, eh? What's the matter with you? Stop it. Stop aiming down long lines of sight with an SMG, it's going to take about 4 days to kill the enemy, and that's if you even land half of your shots. Remember what we spoke about earlier, the health system, there's no UMP45, MP7 action going on here, so you need to stay in your lane as they say. 
get up close and personal with those SMGs. And the last reason why you're bad at Black Ops 4, you're constantly running into the enemy spawn. Like I say, in previous CODs, not the best idea, but not necessarily fundamentally wrong. In Black Ops 4, in core anyway, you're gonna die in the enemy spawn because they just have too much health to take down all at once. You're gonna be overwhelmed fast so do yourself and teammates a favour and hang back a bit. I guarantee you'll find yourself getting more score streaks waiting for the enemy to come out of their spawn rather than diving in head first. Folks, that's going to be all for this video. It's a bit tongue in cheek, you know, it's, it's just for a laugh. But if you did happen to learn something, that's great. And let me know your reasons for being bad at Black Ops 4 in the comments below. And if you could pop a like on the video, that would be much appreciated too. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.